delicious light. Oh, purest brightness. Oh, Jesus Christ, you are holy. You are setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light sing your prayer Son and Holy Spirit Oh gracious light Just light, oh, purest brightness, oh, Jesus Christ, you are holy, you are setting of the sun and our eyes behold the best. 
Hello, everybody. There it goes. A little bit better. I got sound that way. Hey, everybody. We've got Peggy's here, my sister. Good to see you, Peg. Martha, Kathy, and Clinton. I am not even going to attempt to say your last name, my friend. Uh, I'm sorry that you're having such a hard time. Uh, you are. We, we certainly will offer you our prayers and in our prayers tonight. Um, I'm not sure that anybody can help, but we, we certainly will. Leave the comment there as people watch. They might be able to. You never know. Um, <clears throat> you're welcome to, to be with us anytime, Clinton. Oh, hey, Linda. Hopefully you all are doing well tonight. Nothing too exciting to report. Had a good day. Uh, I didn't get as much done as I wanted. I did get to have lunch with Elon, and that was a great day. Always a good day for me to sit with my friend and talk theology and argue. I uh, had lunch with Eli, met with Sarah and Michelle about a couple things. Uh, I did a First Take Tuesday, so if you haven't seen First Take Tuesday uh, on a Thursday, uh, for those of you who are new and don't know what it is, uh, I started doing this series. There's only been a couple of them because it's hard to get in the rhythm of doing it. I swear I'm going to get better at it. Uh, the idea is that on Tuesday, normally Tuesday, I get the readings for the next week's sermon. I open them up, I look at them, and I just sort of have whatever my first ruminations, thoughts, impulses are, like, oh, this is interesting, or I might do this, I don't know. Sorry, I hit the button for mute. Um, just whatever sort of comes to mind, whatever pops out in the scripture in that first initial reading. Uh, people thought that that would be interesting. So I'm going to do it for a while. Let's see how it goes and see how it takes. Uh, so I did first take... Tuesday, today, on Thursday, um, it's available for your viewing pleasure, or your not viewing pleasure, depending on how you look at it. Uh, so I did that. Um, talked to our maintenance group about a couple problems we were having to get those things done, and then they're coming back tomorrow to finish those up. Uh, Bolt and I was trying to do a funeral tomorrow, so I was kind of hoping to get out a little bit early. That did not really happen. Um, but I did leave early enough to get Martin to his dance lesson. So I took Martin to his Irish dance lesson. And then Jess and I swapped. She brought Des and I came home. Uh, and then tried to get a start on my grass, which is, uh, if, if you're anyone, if you're like me, uh, my grass is out of control. Uh, unfortunately, I started by doing the trimming. And apparently I ran out of trimmer line in December when last I trimmed. Uh, and I didn't have any. So I have to go. I got I got enough. I had enough that I could trim the sidewalk. But I still have to do like the walkway and up by the trees. Uh, so I got a little bit of work to do on that tomorrow. I'm going to try and do that in the morning before heading out to this funeral at 1 o'clock. Um, nobody you all know. Unfortunately, I have the poor family. I feel terrible because they. I have a number. But I can't reach anybody. Um, so, yeah. It does, the number doesn't work that he gave me. Uh, they know I'm coming. And I told them I'd be there. So, we'll be there. Uh, so, yeah, that's my day for tomorrow. Jess is out of town with Des on a Girl Scout camping trip. And Martin and I are just going to hang out tomorrow. Uh, and then big day of baseball on Saturday. So, yeah. That's kind of what it is. Uh, for those of you who are in the Wednesday night class, Wednesday night in our Lenten series, we were talking about um, 
sort of going through this season of COVID and what that's like, I don't need to go to sleep, Peg. It's like this every night because the kids finally have gone to sleep and I'm just sort of mellowing out so I can get a little bit of yawny. Um, I did have at lunch, fantastically. I don't usually like drink my way through lunch, but Elon and I went to Grub and Grub has a fantastic smoked old fashioned. It's a drink. And so they smoke this piece of wood. They char this piece of wood and they get it lit on fire and then they put your glass over it so the smoke fills up the glass. Oh my gosh, it's fantastic. It was so good. So I did have one of those with my lunch. Uh, but that sounds good. I need another one. Um, <clears throat> anyways, we've been talking about the season of COVID and the things we lost for the first week. Things that we really missed out on and that was uh, hard. And then this week we talked about like what are the things that we... Like the blessings, like the little things that have been amazing that otherwise we might not have noticed or experienced or seen or, you know, like people who more of us like the national parks uh, all across the board had their like highest years ever. Uh, every individual park had their highest years ever last year, which is fascinating. Uh, more people people getting out of nature. The technology giveth, but it also taketh away. So there are some people who really talked about how the getting to use the technology to be able to see family and friends that were far away that otherwise we might not have seen. Um, and in ways that it allowed us to reconnect on a more regular basis. Uh, and so that was good. But for my part, I had lost a book that I was going to use. I thought it's a long story for those of you who weren't there. I'm not going to go into it. But there was a book that I intended to read a passage out of. And I thought, uh, hey, Leanne, I had... I saw it on my shelf. I knew what I was going to read. And I went to pick it up on my way over to go to teach the class. And it was just the dust cover. The book was gone. Uh, so I had to sort of vamp and come up with something new to teach around, which I was able to do. And I used the movie The Usual Suspects. But now I really want to watch The Usual Suspects. And for the last two days, or I guess last night and then all day today... Like, I just keep walking around saying lines uh, from the movie um, to myself uh, because I'm a turbo nerd that way. Uh, if you haven't seen the movie, or if you have seen the movie, you could agree. If you haven't seen the movie, it's really fantastic. It is a fantastic movie. The Usual Suspects. My name is Kobayashi. Um... Put him in a bag. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, so it's fantastic. I can't wait to see it. I'm going to try and watch it tomorrow since Jess is going to be not here. Uh, once Bart falls asleep, I can knock it out and watch it, I think. So, yeah, that was my day in a nutshell. Things I'm thinking about, things that are going on. Hopefully you all had a good day. I don't have any questions for you today. Uh, it's been a little bit of a day. Um, I had something, but I can't remember. It's, oh, uh, I did get to watch the end of uh, The Amazing Race last night, one of the shows that Jess and I have watched for a long time. My dad and mom used to watch it. Um, I started watching it when they were watching it, and just so we could talk about stuff, talked about it every week. Uh, and I just continued to watch it. We love it. Uh, it was the finale. We finally got to watch the finale last night. It was fantastic. It's such a great show in that you can watch how like the teams and the couples – who, and there's a holiness here, right? The teams and the couples who really not just communicate well, but like genuinely keep themselves grounded and and in that, like it's important to win, we like to win, we like to, but more importantly, we're here to have a good time and I appreciate you and you appreciate me. Those are the teams that always do well, right? Those are the teams that always excel. <sighs> In spite of the fact that on paper they maybe they shouldn't, um, because ultimately when you respect the dignity of every human being, oddly enough, the world sort of lines up for it. So I love that show. It's so good, and I'm so happy the couple, the couple that won, uh, Cal or Cal, gosh darn it, Penn and Kim. Uh, it's the oldest, the oldest couple that have ever won. The oldest team that would have ever won the Amazing Race. He's like 47. The last it was my age. Um, the last. Uh, the last challenge was the next to last challenge was this they had to like count the number of doors there's this like 
hugely long outdoor uh, porticos, you know, with like little uh, doorways, little entryways, little arches. And you had to stand in this box and count them all. And there were 106 of them. Uh, and he was like, I'm 47. My eyes are terrible. I can't see that. Like, it's not that I can't count. It's not that, like, everyone's going to have a little bit of trouble seeing this. That's the point. But, like, I'm at a distinct disadvantage here to the 22-year-olds. So it was really fascinating. Just a great show. We enjoyed watching it. And I'm, I'm, so, yeah, I don't know why I'm mumbling about it so much. Uh other than I don't have a question, so. All that being said, I'm going to shut up now and get to the task at hand. Oh my god, my children will not go to sleep. I have to give just a rubber mallet to put Martin under. All that being said, hey, you guys are quiet tonight. I mean, I guess I haven't said anything really for you to comment on. Um, if you've watched... First take Tuesday on Thursday, let me know. Uh, all that being said, well, let's get started with the task at hand. As always, our service begins on page 127 of the Book of Common Prayer. You can follow along there at bcponline.org. The link is over there in the description, or you can follow along right here on these handy-dandy tiles. Everything you're going to need is going to be there, including our psalm for tonight, which is Psalm 134, the short one, the getaway psalm. All that being said, let's take a deep breath and enter into the near presence of who God has called us to be. Be it. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Let us confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought, word, and deed. And in what we have left undone, for the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life. To the glory of your name, amen. Sorry, I forgot to change the thing for you. Uh, may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Saying together Psalm 134. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands to the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord. No, come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Saying together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace. And let your blessings be upon us always through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. And give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession or thanksgiving. 
either silently, aloud, or down in the comments. For my nose, which is like, cannot stop running right now. We're in that season, all the pollen here is starting. I noticed it this morning. Today's was, today was the first day where my allergies really got to me, so for all those who will be in the midst of uh, pollen and tree induced <sighs> insanity. For John and Jana, who are on their way to Washington to celebrate uh, Jana's son Grant's. I don't know. It's not graduation. He's this thing he's doing. He's grad. I guess it's graduation from OCS, like OCS kind of thing. For Grant, for Savannah and Mark, B and Mike, Carol, Mike Bridges, Alan, Phil Woods, Mike and Lorenzo, Lynn, Martha Elliott, Caroline and Maui, Susan Viscusel, Shackelfords, Ruth Mann, Shannon Chavis, Shane, Emily and Sam. Roy, Karen, Chuck and David, Sheldon, Darcy, Jana, Stephen, Marilyn, Sammy, Gloria, Jen, Mal, for Dave Salem. For Clinton. For all of those in the Ukraine and Russia, that there might be peace. That we might live and learn to live and call ourselves to live in peace and unity. For Manny. For our teachers, principals, professors, counselors, substitutes, bus drivers, and everything in between. For Shanna, Jana times two. Shanna times four. Kay, Kimmy, David, Travis, Janice, Charles, Leslie, Aaron, Kathleen, Angie, Emily, Nina, Rachel, John, Phil, Don, and Keith. For our doctors and nurses, and all of those working in healthcare, for Davin, Christina, David, Carol, Mandy, Jason, Caitlin, Rachel, Kelly, and Catherine. <clears throat> for Chesterton basketball, holy smokes, I saw this story, it's so amazing to me. Uh, the high school that I went to is going to state for the first time, uh, undefeated, right Peg, they're undefeated? That they might continue? Their amazing run and their amazing season. For sobriety for Leanne's nephew, that is a big change from the one I was just praying for. So sorry, Leanne. Uh, for the repose of the soul of our fellow Episcopalian. I didn't know she was an Episcopalian. I just saw this today. Uh, for Madeline Albright, who was a devout uh, Catholic, devout Episcopalian. Uh, not that we wouldn't have prayed for her otherwise, but <laughs> but it's what draw her to my mind. For all those prayers... Spoken aloud, and those known only to you, O Lord, who give thanks, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Continuing together, Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised, for these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. 
Let us bless the Lord. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Who's sending me stuff now? Oh, that's Jess. Uh, all that being said, I will see you guys on Sunday morning. We're off until then. As always, be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and most importantly, do good things. Have a great weekend, y'all. See you on Sunday. Jesus Christ